Jesus approved of his disciples when they broke the Jewish law about working on the Sabbath. Another time, Jesus himself apparently did away with a ceremonial law by declaring all meats clean in Mark 7, 19. Peter has a vision. Remember that in Acts 10? He sees a sheet, and in the sheet are all kinds of animals, clean and unclean. And the Lord says to him, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. All that's gone. No more. The Sabbath day of the New Testament is a Sunday. Why did it become a Sunday instead of a Saturday? It became a Sunday because uh, of a number of reasons. Uh, basically, the reason was because the church made it so. Mm -hmm. We know that the ceremonial law has been fulfilled in the perfect work of Christ, and we know that the dietary laws have been set apart. They had a historical significance that differs from the moral law of the Old Testament. We make a distinction in theology between the natural law of the Old Testament and <clears throat> the purposive law of the Old Testament. Now, that's easy to get confused because we make a distinction also between natural law and revealed law. But that's not the distinction in view here. If Yeshua kept the law and he was perfect, why don't Christians keep it? Why did the apostles gather for Pentecost and Old Testament feast after the resurrection? If the church is not Israel, why do we claim all of Israel's blessings and promises from the Old Testament? How does something come to an end if it's everlasting? How could the definition of sin change? If the law had already been fulfilled by Yeshua as a Passover sacrifice, why did Paul travel to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover? If Yeshua broke the Sabbath, how was he still a sinless sacrifice for us? Why did Peter still not eat anything unclean even though Jesus said all foods were clean? Why did Paul say he keeps the law? Why do we act like some Torah law is ridiculous as if it wasn't written by the creator of the universe himself. Explain how the church has the authority to rewrite the fourth commandment. Doesn't it make more sense that disobeying the law rather than obeying the law tramples on the purpose and sacrifice of Yeshua? Why did Paul say the law is spiritual? If no man can judge me for the holy days I celebrate, can I celebrate wicked ones? The father tells us that his laws are not too difficult to keep. So why do you say that they are? Paul wrote we should keep the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Why don't we? If Yeshua celebrated the Sabbath on Saturday, why don't you?